First of all, Robbie, good evening. Very, very proud to say that we are live from the International Broadcasting Center here in Tokyo, where thousands of broadcasters and media personnel from all over the world have gathered to bring you the biggest sporting event in the world. Now, after a year or more than a year postponement, it feels good to finally be able to say that we are just two days away from the opening of the Tokyo 2020 Games. In its 97-year history in the Olympics, the Philippines has yet to bag a gold medal. We rank second to Malaysia with the most medals but without a gold. However, with a 19-strong and talent-rich contingent to the Games, this might be the country's best shot for gold. 16 out of the 19 Pinoy Olympians have already arrived. Headlined by flag bearers Yumir Marshall and Kiyomi Watanabe. Hanggang itong last month na nag-training po kami sa Colorado Spring at ngayon nandito na po ako sa Tokyo Olympics at um, handang-handa na po para sa labat. Four-time Olympian and silver medalist Heide Lin Diaz got to work right away. While rower Chris Nevarez, who will be the first to compete, already dipped his feet in the water. Others have also began their preparations in Tokyo. The real challenge? Making sure the Games don't become a super spreader event. More than 11,000 athletes will participate for 33 sports. Add to that, thousands of officials, broadcasters, and volunteers. Good morning! It's our flight today to Tokyo. I'm a little bit nervous because it's my first time to fly out. During the COVID-19 pandemic, first time to wear all of this traveling. But I'm ready. I got everything I need here. I got my bags, luggages, got a ton of masks. I got my alcohol, downloaded apps on my phone, and my face shield, which I'll be wearing only until here in the Philippines. Tara! Our broadcast team went through rigorous protocols prior to our flight, including two Japanese embassy certified RT-PCR tests. We also had to download several apps to monitor our health status. The PVC card, meanwhile, served as our visa. Upon arriving in Tokyo, more forms greeted us, plus a saliva test. And while walking the streets of Tokyo might be a good side trip, nope. That's just not going to happen. Location tracking apps make sure that you won't get to wander, save for a 15-minute run to the convenience store or for takeaway. Our 14-day quarantine also means everything has to be arranged a day prior. Based on latest data, 71 COVID cases have already been linked to the Games, some already within the athlete's village. This has worried many Japanese, but some still volunteered. We didn't take a vaccine before we oh, work on this job. So I'm there a little bit scared um, about that. I'm interested in Tokyo Olympic and I, ha I want to get uh, international experience. Yeah. Yes. It took us a total of five hours to get to our hotel, but all of these protocols are necessary to ensure the safety and success of the Games. Robbie, despite the health crisis, like what I mentioned, many are uh, eagerly awaiting the opening of the Tokyo Olympics and everybody's excited but a bit cautious about the spreading of the virus. And we will be bringing you more updates on our athletes live from Tokyo here on Signal TV, TV5, One Sports and Smart. From the International Broadcasting Center, back to you, Robbie. Maraming salamat and keep safe, Gretchen. That was Gretchen Ho reporting live from the International Broadcasting Center in Tokyo, Japan.